And the biggest loss is, you know, our friend Jill. Cody Austin says he could see smoke from the 10 broke apartment complex Thursday night all the way from Jumpin' Jack's drive in. Not only did the fire leave his mother homeless, but it took the life of his friend and co worker, Jill Vancelo. I've always seen her coming in and out of the apartments, you know, at work. She would always say hi to me, come over to me, you know, just try and strike up a conversation. Jill was known as Jilly Bean by those who loved her and worked serving ice cream here at Jumpin' Jack's drive in for the past 11 summers. Became part of her family and we wouldn't let her go. Then she decided to make it a career. Lansing says fireworks were always the best part of Jill Summers. And so when he heard news of her death on the day of the first show of the season, he knew these fireworks were for her. Increased the turnout just in, as a memorial to her. And it's not only her co workers and friends mourning Jill's death, but many of her customers have come out to the show with her memory in mind. I met her once and she was just happy and jolly. And I wish she was. Here. It's just a very nice lady. I mean, I she waited on me a, long, a lot of times over at Jumpin' Jacks. And it's not just the fireworks honoring Jill, but all of the employees wearing her initials on their hats and sleeves to show she may be gone, but never forgotten here at Jumpin' Jacks Drive-In. She's going to be missed, but we'll never forget her. She's, uh, she's part of what makes this place run.